Rolf Peterson here, the executive chef at Gadabout Restaurant in Chicago, Illinois. And like most of the rest of you, I'm stuck at home because of all this COVID-19 business. So while I have all this extra time on my hands, I thought it would be a cool idea to just show you how to make a cool grilled cheese using the stuff you have in your pantry, the stuff in your fridge. Nothing too crazy, super simple, so I figured let's get started. Uh, just, we have some bread here. Uh, I have some Colby Jack and some Munster cheese. Two fairly neutral but still flavorful cheeses to start. Uh, we have some plain sandwich bread here. So I'm gonna start with just assembly. So I like to do one layer of Colby Jack and then we're following that with a layer of grilled cheese. Monster cheese, <laughs> anyway. Um, but put as much or as little as you like. Uh, I really love cheese, so don't tell, don't let me tell you how to live your life. So we'll just do a layer of Colby, a layer of Munster, and then a layer of Colby again. Now, everyone makes grilled cheeses differently. Uh, some people swear by mayonnaise, some people swear by butter. Um, they use the oven, they use the stovetop, the toaster oven, whatever have you. Uh, I actually like to cheat a little bit, so the way I personally like grilled cheeses, I have one pre-made right here. I pop it in for about 30 to 40 seconds in the microwave just to get the cheese a little bit softened because I think one of the worst parts about making a grilled cheese is thinking that you're done and then you have that like strip of unmelted cheese in the center and it's like, no, we were so close. And I've got a pan preheated with a little bit of canola oil. Now, the reason I do that is I add butter as well, which we have right here, just regular Irish unsalted butter. Uh, but you can use really whatever brand you like. So, just gonna heat that up again. Now, the reason I add oil to this is because that if you just do butter, then uh, depending on how hot your pan is, the uh, milk solids in the butter will actually uh, roast and toast and caramelize and eventually burn, possibly before your grilled cheese is done. So the reason I use uh, canola oil, you can use grapeseed, uh, not olive because it has kind of its own flavor, but the reason I use these neutral oils is because it has a higher smoke point. So you can add this butter to it and because it's combined with this oil, the butter fats aren't really going to burn by the time your grilled cheese is ready. So I'm just going to put that right in the pan there. And this next step's a lot about waiting. So but we're going to get that butter nice and foamy. Oh, it looks so good. I wish you guys could smell it. That butter's going to foam. It's eventually going to get brown. And what we pretty much want is the bread to toast uh, and get brown pretty much the same time as the butter does. It's going to absorb some of this fat, absorb all that flavor, and eventually get this nice nuttiness as the brown butter caramelizes. Uh, and it's just going to add another layer of flavor to that grilled cheese, which I'm all about. Love flavor. Love adding it in whichever way I possibly can. So. And it's still not very colorful, so I'm just going to turn the heat up to medium right now. And just really manage that heat. You don't want it to have, you don't want it to be on like a ripping blast. You don't want it high because, again, you don't want to essentially cook your sandwich in butter that's black, butter that's burnt, because it's going to impart all those really awful flavors that you associate with that. So I'm going to press it down just a little bit. Oh, I wish you could smell this. So the butter's starting to caramelize. It's smelling really nice. Some people like to put mayonnaise uh, on their grilled cheese, which is a method I'm a fan of. I, I do like the flavor of it. The reason why I didn't do it this time is because I just simply like butter a little bit better. Um, so, But you can do it however you want. This is just the way I like to do it. So I'm just kind of moving it around in the pan, all while maximizing contact, because you want that even toasting on the grilled cheese. Which, we're getting there, as you can see. So I'm gonna leave this for about another 30 seconds. I would eat this right now if I knew, if I didn't know that it wasn't ripping hot and was gonna burn my mouth and ruin my weekend. 
so about 30 seconds. All right, cool. And then we are going to flip it onto the other side. Look at that tasty goodness. Flavor. You have the cheese coming out of the side, getting caramelized in the pan. So, oh yeah, super crispy, super evenly toasted. So. This should take about another minute or so in the pan, and then we are going to cut it and try it out for ourselves. So, I hope everybody's well during this time. I know it's weird, and honestly it sucks, you know, to like have all this time off, have all this free time, and then not be able to share it in person with a lot of people. So this is, this is for you as much as it's for me. Um, I just miss everybody. So, hear that sizzle, and then, oh, we're almost there. So, about 30 to 45 more seconds. Perfect. Cool. So, I'm going to kill the heat right now. I'm um, pretty satisfied with the way the underside looks. So, I'm going to let it sort of carry over. The pan's still going to be really ripping hot, um, but we're not going to add any more uh, active heat to it, so it's just going to cook in a hot pan and really finish off. Put the grilled cheese right there. So the reason I do this uh, is to just blot a lot of the excess grease, the excess oil and butter. So it's still gonna be really nice and flavorful. So see how we have this perfect caramelization. Everything's crispy, evenly toasted. Just really super nice. So I'm going to slice into it. Oh, and you can hear that crunch. And then... So good. Doesn't that look great? I'm tempted to bite it, but I know that I'm going to regret it instantly. But here we go. <laughs> oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Really good though. So that's pretty much a beginner's tutorial on grilled cheese. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to let this cool off a little bit and then <laughs> finish eating it. But again, I'm Rolf Peterson from Gad About Restaurant. Um, I'll have more videos to upload and more tips and tricks to show you. Nothing crazy, everything that's pretty approachable and explained in a way that'll make sense to anybody. That's what I love to do. And I can't wait to show you guys everything. So be well. Take care of yourself, take care of each other, and stay at home and keep watching these videos. Bye.